Hello, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Vault Hunters. I'm just chilling on my couch together with uh, Miss Bird. <laughs> Miss Bird? Hello? Wait, I hear her. Guess she is shy. Last time you saw me, you saw a poor boy. But today, you're looking at a rich, wealthy man. You see, in between episodes, I have plundered. <laughs> that really does make me sound like a pirate. I've been plundering. But no, I, I haven't been plundering other people's bases. I've been plundering vaults. You see, I've been making use of the new mechanic that came out in the last update called Plunderer's Pearl, which increases the amount of loot and ores inside a vault by a little bit, but it removes the experience gain, which is absolutely perfect because that way I can play vaults without quote-unquote progressing. Now I did stream a lot of it and that VOD is available on VODSCAL85. Miss Bird, are you okay? Why are you down in the corner? I can still see you, you know. I know that not everybody have time to watch a full VOD, so I was thinking we could do a before and after. Beautiful. I have created my first ever loot monster. Let's name it Sir Plunder Beast. <laughs> yes, Sir Plunder Beast the Great. Look at this. I have got so much uh, stuff. I mean, look at these gems 5,385 Lermar, 31. Thousand echo gems, a hundred and five million alexandrite. Made, made you watch, didn't I? <laughs> but seriously, this is incredible. Oh, uh, lots of chromatic iron, lots of diamonds, so many jewels, and this is my bad jewels up here. These are my super jewels. Look at this, this is just an incredible, absolutely mad jewel. Not to mention. An Omega Focus, an Omega Wand, Legendary Trousies, Legendary Axe, which uh, is not that impressive. <laughs> and this is before opening any of these crates. There are 2,500 crates to open as well. I was never really good at math. Now this chest, this chest over here is a very important chest because this is five mod boxes, two pogs, one knowledge star and one trinket. I don't know about you, but I, ca I can't wait to pop all of these crates. But before I do, I'm going to add to it. Because I've been asked by some hermits to come along for some more vaulting. Oh, uh, and, and before I do that, I will have to actually repair some things. My Paxel has already got repaired once during my plunder day, and that's the last repair it will have. And my legs are also broken and bruised. Where yeah. are you all now? Now we are in Ethos base because his war plate still works. Ethos He's just ignorant. Like, I don't know I don't where you I... put it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> where where did you come from, even? Oh, it's over here. It's right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think I can see it now. Oh, That's yeah. probably big enough, in fact. It's pretty visible. Yeah. That's the ugliest portal I've ever seen, by the way. Clever, but hideous. <laughs> hey. Oh. I didn't make hey. it. I made it. So. <laughs> I made that portal. I brought you into this world, and I can bring you yes. out of this world. <laughs> Such <laughs> disrespect. Yes, Papa. <laughs> uh, uh, Iskul, you ain't got helmet, yeah? Oh. Did I forget, oh, well. my, did I forget my helmet? You, you forgot helmet. your helmet. I got, it, I, got it, I, got it, I got it in my inventory. Oh, see, so yeah, okay. Oh, right. What a show off. Doesn't even need a helmet. Ooh. Oh, so <laughs> we got to find those things? Yes. Red yes. scroll. Oh, and it tells you what chests they're in? Well, we found an altar already, so I'm going to mark my uh, my way back. They are almost in every room. Oh, then it's not necessary. Why would we need to find our way back then? But we need to find each other so that Just we can... Just Oh, We got to share. Yeah, we might share some. <laughs> Beep is like, I'm not sharing. Hey, He's... <laughs> screw you All right, why, why is this guy in our party exactly? <laughs> I haven't figured I this out yet. I love things. <laughs> oh! 
What? Oh no, someone's been in this bit. Don't look at my health. I saw that! Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> uh, I took a face plant. Oh yeah. I oh, should maybe fine. not be wearing these, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just practice. Practice yeah. makes perfect. <laughs> That was a that was a hard face plant. <laughs> At least you're better looking now. <laughs> wow. Oh. Wow. Ouch. Oh. He went On there. On fuego. <laughs> People tell oh, me kiwis, Miskel, that sometimes Oh yeah, kiwis, that's right. That sometimes you let it get down to like mere seconds. Sometimes? Greed is All good, the man. time. <laughs> All the time, yeah. You get max ridiculous. Don't do that. It's awful. <laughs> it's awful, she says. It is awful. And he drags other people with him, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that I do, yeah. That's the issue. He's a bad influence. <laughs> One block opening with all the mobs inside it. Huh? Like, yeah, it's a weird... I've never seen that. Are before. you mining my coins? No. No. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> no, I'm not. I am not. Oh, my goodness. These burgers before. What are you doing, Ethel? <laughs> See if I can attack you. I cannot. <laughs> you cannot know we're in a party. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, there's a balloon here, Estia. Oh, it backfired. Because you now went the wrong direction because I've been changing your indigo blocks. <laughs> Have you really? Oh, yeah, I just I'm going to get lost, man. Wanted, I'll never get up. I wanted to see if it worked and it did. <laughs> it will work. I, I mean, I'm not paying attention to that. <laughs> it's great. I think somebody lied to me about there being netherite blocks in here. Alright, Beef, I know that your helmet blocks your vision, but you know, don't call me a liar just because you can't see. Get glasses. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Interesting. There is a block of obsidian in here. Uh about the same. That's not the are you doing the bucket, the hanging bucket? It looks like a square, but I assume. He doesn't it's know a what bucket. he's doing. What kind of square what kind of buckets do you have where you live? Oh yeah, there's just a square bucket. Uh, you don't use buckets in my in my place to pour water or anything in them. No, they're just squares. I'm just gonna try and go to all of these little. Whoa! I'll just go to the bucket that's hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, listen. There's a lot of hanging things in this room. There's only one bucket that has magma blocks and lava pouring out. Oh, I see the netherite block. You found a netherite block. <laughs> that's very lucky. Uh, no, uh, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm, um, not. Something's <laughs> happening here. <laughs> oh, it's called a stroke. Me. It's called a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Etho. You're not getting any of my blood vials. <laughs> Someone, please call nine one one. Oh, oh yeah, there you are. Hello. Easy. Okay. It was never a problem. I, I knew where you were. On I think uh -huh, I'm here. Uh huh. Yeah, B for me. Okay, here you go. Uh, is there one in this room? I need two pages, two uh, there, scrolls, and a blood vial. Uh, no, but there's one in the next room. There you go. Thank there's you, an empty jar in that one. Now, if I die, it's because dripstone lands on me. It's that way to go. <laughs> yeah. It could, happen, it could happen right now. <laughs> it's still just watching me. <laughs> I've been following you for the past <laughs> three minutes. <laughs> it's like, what is he doing? <laughs> it's, it's really fascinating. It's like watching uh, Discovery Channel. Uh huh. Oh, wow. We're running a little low on time. <laughs> yeah, it takes time to submit them. <laughs> you guys are not going to make it. I'm done. Ethos done. Ethos did. Uh, I don't have to go to the entrance or anything, right? Nope. I, I mean, yes. Oh, oh, oh Summer Wing Dragon. A mega one. It is Coconut. worse than my other one. I did say, like, yeah. I was thinking you all come to my house, but no one came to my house. Yeah. And um, you were gonna force feed us burgers, weren't you? I was gonna give you some. I've cooked up some burgers <laughs> with tomato and <laughs> cheese on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beef's had them. That's why he's so higher good. level. Mm. Exactly. Oh, that's how he did it. I see now. No, oh, it all I makes sense. Like, that is how I had like six. Yep. I, I was saying earlier, I had like sixteen burgers, and it didn't even give me up a level. Hold shift and eat them. Yes, please. I want to see. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, better. That's better. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm I was ready. born ready. Well, before we go. Yeah. Cupcakes. Go. Anyone? Cupcake. Why do you want to feed no. us th these fleshy? Don't cupcakes? ask. Don't ask. You just eat. Just, just eat. No stress. Come on. I forgot to bring extra food in. What is this? Oh, Ethan, Iskow, you, you need planted a cupcake for me. A big cupcake. Thank you. That's very nice of you. 
You're welcome. Hmm. I, you know, I appreciate the cupcakes. How considerate. I knew you were a cup. I knew you were a man of cupcakes. <laughs> I knew you were a cupcake. That's what was going to come out of your mouth. Yeah, the, missed opportunity. You know, it's not easy to be Swedish because you got to think, translate, and be funny. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> but I practiced one of them. So now, whenever I get the mushroom theme, I can always go, there's not mushroom in here, guys. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's uh, that's a good one. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> it's fun. It is funny. Nailed it. <laughs> Can't want to use that no more. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It's good, Estelle. Yeah. Well, there's so much TNT here, too. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to find this room. <laughs> I'm just going to watch, man. I'm going to sit up here and watch. Are you? And you know you can profit as well, because we all oh, love course. TNT. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> <You didn't. laughs> okay, old school TNT. I like it. Did you try to profit this? <laughs> A little bit. Oh dear! Oh dear! No, the chest is still. What are you doing? Oh no! Sabotage. There's more upstairs. There's more upstairs. Don't worry. <laughs> Gets the bell. I gotta get the bell. <laughs> oh, I accidentally hit something. <laughs> For goodness oh sake, God. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Careful. Careful. Don't, don't miss oh. aim. Don't miss aim. I think we got it. <laughs> oh, I missed one. No. <laughs> I got it. I got it. They come in ma many variations. They come with one that has more city buildings, one with a bumbo in the middle, and uh, mm. stuff. Does mumbo ins insult you as you go through? <laughs> yeah, mumbo insult. He comes in, he's like, What is that redstone contraption? It's completely pants! <laughs> <laughs> this does not chuff me to bits. <laughs> oh, we got an X marks the spot. Yeah, wait, uh, wait, 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 wait down there. Go and stand on the on the bedrock. He's dropping TNT, everybody. No, no, no it's, it's gonna get worse than that. Whoa! Whoa Wait, what in the? Oh my goodness! You're gonna try and survive now, cause that was a trap. So here was a trap. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Are you okay down there? Don't. I'm. I'm clearing uh, the It's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna come down and help you. I'm gonna come down and help you. I got you back. I you got you back. <laughs> You guys are so fast. Oh, oh, no. I don't have any mana. Oh. Uh oh. Alright, put it on the chest plate. That was a yeah, close we're okay. one. Okay, we're okay. Someone's been here. No. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. Look at this pro. Easy. Look at Easy. this pro. Uh, do you got three blood vials just in case I yes. didn't find them? Yes, yes. Thank you. Oh, actually, I had those. I guess I, I finished. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. No, I got six does. of them now. Trust me, I, I did it. I did it all on I my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have asked for help. No, it's not legit. <laughs> <laughs> Stress, do you wanna do you wanna yes. give uh, do you wanna give me the rib cage? I'm right behind you. If you turn off your magnet, you can give it to me. I'll run back and you can get out. Rib cage. Thank I you. need the I need my bangle. I need the bangle. Don't leave oh, me. Oh, oh. <laughs> give me the bangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if he doesn't have one, I have one. I think. Angles there. Is that all you need? Yes. Here we go, beef. Here we eat go. Eat. Kiwi, please. I'm Kiwi gonna eat some kiwis. I'm gonna do it. Done. Done. Look at this man. He oh. did it all by himself. He made it. Yeah. Wow, I'm so nice. good at this game. Woo! Nicely done, beef. Well, well thanks, buddy. I owe it all to you. Well done, everyone. <laughs> that was oh, stressful. Man. I don't like this. I don't like. What these. do you mean you don't like stuff these. to find? That was fun. Nope. What do you mean? Nope. I like the simple ones where you just go in and you grab whatever you want and then you find your way back to the portal at the beginning. Oh, so nice and easy. <laughs> okay, lame. I thought, I thought it was great. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. That's my favorite. I cleared it all on my own even. Well, yeah, well, you know, a little bit of a help. You know. but, but that's why we're here.
Sir Plunderbeast has grown! And so, so have I! I am level 34, and I feel like a child on Christmas! There's so many things that this is so overflowing! It's, it's just, oh, it's so exciting! It's so very exciting! I don't, I don't even know where to start! I suppose let's look at the gems once again, because the, <laughs> the amount of gems in this chest is just ridiculous. I feel like I could do everything in Vault Hunters and never run another vault, which which I, I wouldn't want to do that. I, I I love running vaults. Oh, and look at this. I doubled up on, on the five mod boxes of 10 now. Okay, I gotta think about this. I've paced myself now for like three days that it's taken me to build Sir Plunder Beast, and I just, I just gotta go in. I think. Actually, one thing that's gonna happen as I pop all of these crates is that we're gonna get more gear, and when we get more gear, I'm not gonna have anywhere to put it, and a lot of it is gonna be just garbage. So, the very adult thing to do is to pick up this scrapping machine, and then construct an actual scrapper. Aha! Meets our scrap a lot. <laughs> I just realized it's kind of a weird thing to expect junk from some of this, but truth to be told, a lot of vault gear can be scrapped, and the scrap that I get from it is useful. So recycling, recycling is good. Good for me, good for you, good for the environment, good for Sir Plunder Beast. I have emptied my inventory. I have baked a cake and snacked. Oh, it's time. I guess I just start with, with all the crates. Is it just... Start popping! Yep, stop popping! Stop popping! <laughs> this is so much stuff! Every okay, already I am overflowing. Uh, it's gonna be a bit counterproductive. Taking down Sir Plunder Beast by putting up more chests. Having the realization that it's actually going to take time to, to loot Sir Plunder Beast is nothing short of great. It's, uh, it's... It's an amazing feeling. Okay, let's put this in here, that in there, just so that I can look at everything chested up once I'm done. I can't, I cannot fit more things in here. Hold on. I can make, I can make space. Here we go. Let's try this. I think what I have to do is like identify this gear as I go. Now, some of them are very low level because I've been running, well, I've, I've ran some vaults lower level. That's a pretty good sword, but I've got a better one. No, I think all of this can go to... Sir Scrapalot, we're gonna, we're gonna just hear Sir Scrapalot eating during the entire period. Okay, more crates, more crates, more stuff, and it's overflowing once again. All the jewels in here, so much gold, so many things. If you ever thought that a chest monster is a monster, think again. Sir Blood Beast is the true monster. <laughs> Ooh, another augment. Okay, that can go straight into this storage. Augments are always good. Oh, that's a bitter lemon. They are very good. Anything off the grid? Oh! Yeah, I, I mean, it is level 15, so it's not... It's not the greatest for me, but hey, a legendary helmet is a legendary helmet. An item quantity is actually super good. It increases the loot you get. Now that I think about it, I'm sure that some people would be interested in some of these things. Oh, that's actually... That's keepable. Oh, a legendary shield. Okay, the rest of this goes into Sir Scrapalot and more crates. Wonder if I'm gonna get any artifacts in any of these. There's another augment there. I saw that. Yep. <laughs> Look at this 59 extra command. Look at the steel I've got from all the bounties I've done. And a fundamental focus. They are super good. Where's my thing? Put it in there. Oh dear, this is actually risking to despawn. I'm not moving fast enough. Okay, go, 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 pick up everything. There we go. Another lemon. Nice. Oh, here we go, here we go. You can have all of that. There was nothing super special in there. Okay, I got, <laughs> I got a few crates remaining. This is the last batch though. Ooh, oh, I am <laughs> rolling a sword, I guess. Plate piercer. Oh, but it's a level 18 sword. That's a really good level 18 sword. I may... I save that and give it away to some of the or one of the one of the low level people that would want it. Look at all this stuff! <laughs> and I'm not really even sorting this, am I? I'm just like extending the chest part of Sir Plunder Beast. This jewel chest is getting overflowed. Look at this eight volt platinum. That's volt platinum. That's eleven in total. Okay, there's one nope, two more crates, one bounty and one completion. No artifacts though. Oh, that's a bit 
It's a little bit unfortunate. Oh well. It's taken the entire Minecraft day to clear the crates. <laughs> That's amazing. So here goes the last gear uh, uh, discovery, gear identification. And all of these are actually quite low level. I think I'm, there was some good ones in there. But as I say, it's, yeah, it's like level 18. I've, I'm a big boy now. So next up, I guess I uh, get rid of all of this gear. This is the gear that I have identified while running the vaults and upgraded where I uh, could. But these are the ones that I deem that I deemed not good enough. So they are also food for <laughs> for the scrap a lot. I gotta think about the environment. I gotta think about space. I gotta think about Sir Plunder Beast coming down. That's done. Nice. I can also take down this. Oh, um, I'm at the stage of my Christmas present opening right now where my my mom would come in and be like, put all the Christmas wrappers away <laughs> before you continue. I gotta put these all the way. This is a lot of chromatic iron, by the way. A lot of chromatic iron should hopefully last us a while. You're getting through you, sir, plunder beast. Oh, I just found another chest hidden behind with more gear that I deemed not the greatest. Backlog is getting heavier for sir plunder beast. How are we doing here? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at all the old scrap and netherite. <laughs> Oh, it's great. That's absolutely great. Now that leads me to the chests themselves. And what I think could be fun, and as a little bit of a research thing, is to see how much platinum, the highest graded vault currency, I have accumulated in Sir Plunder Beast. 18? 18 plus 11. 29. That doesn't sound that much, but it is compressed bronze four times, four to the power of, of nine amount of bronze but i gotta say it feels a lot better when it's in, in stacks of gold that looks great that looks absolutely great now i did also separate the carbon because carbon was one of those things that i was low on before i created sir plunder beast and in total i got five almost six stacks of refined carbon that is going to last a while okay next up is the burgers i kept these separate because i wanted to give ito and beef and stress some burgers as they were behind in level but they didn't really want them so yeah i guess i guess i just put them in my storage and i'll take them out when i need them now for this chest this chest is just look at this knowledge i mean it's just it's it's overwhelming it's an overwhelming amount of knowledge. You know what I want to do? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to take some of the wall diamonds and then take some of this beniotite. And I guess, I guess there's no harm in crafting up as many knowledge stars as I can. Turn these into the shards. 64 plus 34, 12. <laughs> 12? <laughs> That's so crazy. 12 knowledge stars. Plus the fact that I have one, right, that I bought in the black market. Yeah, I do have one there as well. And then I have another knowledge core. Oh, I, so I overcraft the knowledge course. That's fine. So I have 13 knowledge stars. I feel um, pretty good. And in fact, do I have more? I have 153 more dust here. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. I am just chilling. 15 knowledge stars. What, what else is new? It's time to store all of these gems in my system. So then I can take the barrel away. Now back to this chest. I mean, I already used two stacks of all times and I still have two left. That's crazy. Uh, over two stacks of chromatic steel, five black chromatic, a ton, literal ton of netherite because it, it weighs it weighs a lot. <laughs> Did you know that it's actually one ton per 37 netherite ingots? Well, if you didn't know, now you know. It's good knowledge, good information to have. I haven't been storing black chromatic steel in the system, but I might just as well store them. Look at this beautiful drawer. Three lemons is a tool for greed. Now looking through all the jewels from the from the crates that I opened, there's none that's omega special in here by the looks of things. Oh, I'm wrong. Okay, I'm wrong. That's, that's an omega special one. I mean, some of these, a lot of these are great. Like this one, this one, I say that's very special as well. They can go in the super special chest. Hold on, I saw another one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So many of these are so good. I don't know what to do with myself. I've got two hammering jewels during this endeavor. And hammering jewels are 
fantastic. But unfortunately, I don't have a better place to put these right now at the moment. So I guess as the jewels will have to stay for a little while longer. And instead, I can go on to these items here. Three pogs, ten mod boxes. And I gotta be honest, I might not want to open these just yet. I mean, I got, I got knowledge coming in, right? And... I might unlock a mod that has another mod that has more from the mod boxes, so it adds more to the mod boxes. And therefore I might want to save the mod boxes. Box of mod. Mod boxes. <laughs> How many times can one say mod boxes? Uh, what I will open though, is my trinket. And... I'm hoping for like the wings. The wings would be so good. Uh, or any red trinket would be good. Uh, 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 not scripted. Not That was pure luck. Pure luck! The wings gives me elytra power while not wearing an elytra. Which means that I can wear a chest plate and still fly with the elytra. Oh, and I know that Ethel really wants these. <laughs> can, I, can I flex them? <laughs> it's got not sponsored by Red Bull. <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> Speaking about gear, let's take a look at this chest because this is where I got the stuff that I feel are like, is like super good. The Omega Focus, the Omega Wand. And since I last opened this chest, I've added an Omega chest plate that I found. This one, unfortunately, is a level 21 armor or piece. So it has the lower armor roll, but it has 8% block chance, which is a perfect implicit roll. And it's just overall super defensively. It also has an empty slot, which means that I could craft on any of the suffixes that I want on there. Like, for example, I could slap on 5 to 8% item rarity, which I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. 7%. That's great. And, I mean, most importantly, it makes me look like... Minus this helmet. It makes me look like a pirate, as it's part of the pirate set. Which is very fitting with Sir Plunderbeast. Now, if I would skip wearing my shield... This focus would be incredible. It'd give me lucky hit, healing efficiency, mana regen, and a level in dash. I would actually get another skill point in dash for free. Oh! <laughs> okay. I forgot. I was not aware. Excuse me, sir. I uh, appreciate you uh, coming by. I'm just flying out of the window up there. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. See you, la See you later, sir. That's what I'm saying. This gives me a free level in dash and a lot of mana up handling and lucky hit, which is great. I don't know if I'm ready though to give up my shield because, well, as long as I play with the Elytra, I really feel like I need the extra defense that the shield gives. And the shield paired with this chest plate, I mean, look at my defenses here. Let's see. I go from 30% <laughs> to 52. That's. That's an incredible upgrade in terms of, like, defensive abilities. Now, before I decide what I'm going to wear, I have got an idea. I am very close to level 35, and I think I should be able to burger my way there. If I eat one of these, how big are they? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If I eat nine of them, none of them is with level 35. Perfect. Absolutely brilliant. Because at level 35... I can make new tools, the Volterite tools, and these have, once again, more capacity. Let me bring this, let me bring this inside. Now, to craft these tools, I need this ingot, Volterite ingot, which is made using scrap and chromatic iron. Here we go. Okay, so I think I'm going to make a brand new tool set with, with, with Volterite, and I'm definitely going to want a hammer. I want a hammer for my ore mining. Just refilling with driftwood. I'm gonna want a sickle for my chest breaker. And then to replace my Paxel, well, I'm not really sure yet because I gotta I gotta look through the jewels. So maybe, maybe I start with my hammer. And I'm gonna want hammer size, but I have two of these. I think I'm only gonna use one of them. And then this one I may use for my overworld hammer because it has that vanilla immortality. And I also think it's a bit excessive to make a hammer bigger than plus one, which makes this a, a five by five instead of a three by three. So that is, that's a good start. I also want copiously on it. So yeah, this is actually a great jewel for this, but it has 15 sides and I am specced into the jeweler expertise. So I get two free cuts without ruining the jewel. Let me get some silver scrap, that in here and Let's see how much I take off. 
One. <laughs> so it's 14 sides. Okay, one more time. 11. Okay. You know what? Uh, let's just go all in on jeweler. That gives me a third cut, and then I can make this perfect size 10. Yeah, that's, that's such an incredible jewel. I also want some mining speed, and as much copiously as I can stack on it. Oh, look at this jewel. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. It's so good. Wow. All of this gold is going to come in handy for, for working with these things now. I'll put a full stack in here. See if we can get this down to size 10. Yep. Perfect. This one is going to be tricky. 16, 13, 10. Oh, now don't get me wrong. These jewels do not need to be size 10, but the smaller they are, the more I can fit on the hammer, essentially. I think this is a good start. I don't need to finish this tool right now. Like I can, I can press this button, merge it, and I now have a 5x5 five five hammer that has 12% copiously, which means, you know, I, I get more ores when I mine ores, if that procs. And so next up, I'm going to go for my new chest breaker, my, my sickle. And here I'm going to go for all of the affinities, trap disarm chance, and as much item rarity or and item quantity as possible. I do not care for mining speed because these will this one will not break my wooden chests. It's just going to insta mine all the other chests. This is taking a while, but this is where I'm at. So I got all the special chest affinities and coin affinity. I got a healthy amount of trap disarm and a little bit of item rarity and item quantity, which is going to increase the amount of loot and the quality of the loot. And this leaves me with 35 capacity remaining. I mean it's it's a work in progress, right? I I, I can go ahead and add anything else that I find later that is really good but all in all this is a giant upgrade from my chromatic sickle and since Volterite tools have three repairs it's going to last a while as well. Next up I want to and kind of need to create a new Paxel because this Paxel, this Paxel is almost dead. I've repaired it twice and for this one it's going to be breaking my wooden chests and be my general sort of pickaxe inside the vaults. Mining speed is great and don't get me wrong it would be fantastic to have some trap disarm item rarity and quantity on this one as well but I'm going to be focusing things. This jewel is so good for this tool. But looking through everything, I have axing as a byproduct on this jewel, and I've already cut this, so I can't cut this more without losing one of these modifiers, which I don't want to do because they're all good. So looking at what I had, I should be making a shovel. I mean, that's the base. And, and then I will turn that into a Paxel with these other here jewels. Yeah, like that. 105 capacity remaining. Okay, let's see. So 32.1 mining speed. My current one has 32.2. That means that I have to find at least one more mining speed, but look at this. It has 105 capacity remaining, which means that... Oh yeah, oh yeah, I have, I still have some mining speed jewels that I haven't, that I haven't considered. Oh, and you know what? Didn't I have jewels down here still? I have not, in any of these tools that I've created, I've not looked through these jewels here. Whoops. Oh, that's an incredible item quality one. Ooh, I have a plan for that. And that, and this. Okay, okay, hold on, <laughs> one thing at a time. I've cut this jewel, 15 size, 5.3 minus speed, brings me to 37.4. The more the merrier when it comes to a wood breaker. And then this durability jewel, yep, that's a perfect 10. That's gonna make it live longer. I think that this is a great start. 80 capacity remaining means that I can still upgrade this as I go, and it's still a, a big upgrade from my from my current chromatic steel one. Then, as far as my plans go, can I get this to a perfect 10? Yep. And what about this one? Yep. And then these three can all go on my chest breaker, making it into a machete. I think axing is fantastic to have on your uh, special chest breaker because a lot of the times the chests are hidden behind like the uh, trap doors and stuff and then you can just use your machete to to mine them out and this would mean capacity with capacity five remaining this means that this is the final upgrade i do to this and i think i'm gonna go for it that brings it to almost 10 percent extra item quant uh, item rarity yes let's make a machete my favorite tool look at this thing <laughs> it's great it just slices the chests so there it is, my new vault tools. I love making tools. I think it's one of the most fun things of vault hunters. Now I just gotta make sure to put all of the enchantments on. Perfect, I got shiny tools. <laughs> it's it's hard to tell the difference between the Shatterer and the Paxel. They're almost exactly the same. I would like to make myself an overworld tool. And for overworld tools, I'm going to be looking for these vanilla immortality jewels because if you reach 100%, Vanilla Immortality, they take zero durability damage outside walls, which is great because 
you cannot put mending on wall tools. Now, I would love to have a powerful hammer to do some mining with. Now, the first thing that goes in is going to be this amazing, absolutely mad jewel. The Adam Quanti is not going to be doing anything in the old world, but the hammer size and the vanilla immortality is great. Oh, and that is a perfect vanilla immortality jewel. I don't actually think that I'm going to have enough vanilla immortality jewels at this point in time to make this happen. I'm up to 74%. So that's 74% durability damage reduction when used outside a vault. And it's currently a brick hammer, <laughs> which looks hilarious. There's something with this texture that just makes me laugh. That Wait, isn't this perfect? 13 plus 87 is 100! Yes! So this hammer would never break in the overworld. Oh no, look at this. I have one shoveling size 14, which I've already cut with 17% vanilla mortality. And then I have this one with 16% of shoveling, but four less size. That brings me to 99%. Yeah, building tools is kind of like a puzzle a little bit. Like that might be a better option, but I mean, I'm still missing 1%. So then I have to find that 1% elsewhere. I do have this. Picking an Hydrovoid jewel for 10 size. And Hydrovoid is something I think I want on this hammer. Is your Hydrovoid makes it so that your tool can mine water and mine lava. And it's when you're caving, it is it is very, very satisfying. It's also great for like digging out an ocean monument, for example. But adding this jewel, which has picking, devalues this jewel, which has picking. I am now completely out of silver scrap and silver scrap is something you get from recycling jewels. So I think I gotta start doing that on some of these. I'm going with the biggest ones I have. So scrap a lot. I've got some more food for you. And there we go. I am getting silver scrap. Now another thing you can use silver scrap for is craft new jewels. And I might give this a try actually. Just craft a few of these and see if I can get lucky. Look at that, a perfect pulverizing one. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, that's, that's a really good one. After a lot of puzzling, this is where I am right now at the moment. It doesn't have great mining speed. It lacks axing and smelting, which I would like on there. But it has 100% vanilla immortality and 120 capacity remaining. Which means it's a work in progress hammer, but I think I am good with committing these here jewels. They're all size 10 as well, so like this is, this is as good as it gets. Let's do it. Let's commit to an overworld for now brick hammer <laughs> it looks it looks so derpy and let's enchant this up and then i need to find something to break so that i can try this out here we go oh oh it's great look at how it deletes the water <laughs> it's so cursed gonna hit those source blocks though there's a lot of water here did i get it i got it i think yes <laughs> I've made the best though. Oh, but it's great. Absolutely great. As I say, I do want smelting on this thing, but oh, what a joy. What an absolute joy. And look at that. It takes no damage. No damage whatsoever in the old world. What should we call it? I need a name for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys help me out. Give me a name for our overworld hammer of doom. Because unfortunately. We are very much out of video time for today, so that's gonna have to do it. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this plunder beast episode. I've had, I've had a ton of fun. I, I've, I've really enjoyed it. It's taken me some time to make this episode, but I've really enjoyed it, every second of it. Next time, we are going to probably unlock, not one mod, but probably two or three. We'll see. And I'm going to focus on base building. Pacific is going to grow. In the next episode but as i say that's gonna do for today so thank you ever so much for watching give me a name for for the for the brick hammer and if you did enjoy the video please do hit the like button down below and if you're brand new because subscribing and i will see you in the next episode